Sometimes things with the clients are so hidden, not even the client knows what they are. And so you've got to dig and dig, and sometimes you can spend weeks trying to find you know, what might be a, a really specific issue that you need to get to a specific event. Now, with the unseen therapist, unseen therapist comes from the spiritual dimension. The unseen therapist um, has knowledge that you and I don't have. Um, far wiser than you and I will ever be, knows more about what's going on with the client or ourselves, if we are the client, um, than we can ever know about ourselves. Knows more about the future, the past, what will work, not work, and so on. And so now we're going to inject that extraordinary healing possibility um, that I talked about in one of my earlier discussions here, where I was in the arms of the Creator and I fell into this, this creative experience that thousands of people, but a very small percentage of people of a population have had. Um, so now we can borrow from that. And, and one of the things that happens as you begin to learn to communicate with this immense power is you begin to get gentle nudges. Ah, look at this issue. Sometimes the client, if I'm dealing with another person, will say to me, oh, I just remembered this thing with my Uncle Harry when I was about seven. Oh, what's that? Oh, yes, okay. All of a sudden something comes up that would take you a long time to find. We even have a process now, which we call the TV guidance channel technique, where we're sitting there actually, instead of playing detective work, which we would have to do manually with the mechanical EFT, we're simply asking unseen therapists, ah, point us to what the issues really are. Don't let us guess, don't let us play detective work, point us to it. And the better we get at our ability to communicate with unseen therapists, the more accurate, the more clear, the more consistent we get those answers. And ah, it's saving time. Um, with with uh, the EFT tapping form, many times we have to do five, 10, 15, 20 specific events about a particular issue, like say an abusive father, for example. Uh, there may be a hundred or a, a thousand specific events with an abusive father. Uh, with mechanical tapping, we, EFT tapping, we have to go through maybe five, 10, 15, 20 of them, okay, to be able to collapse them all because there's commonality among all of them. But with unseen therapists, one event, two, three, maybe five, but not all these others, because all this commonality goes on and you collapse a few. And instead of being so angry at one's father, we now see father through different eyes. We see father genuinely through eyes that, where he's calling for help with all his abusive activities. He's really saying, I don't know how to handle myself. And so I'm trying to project out my own abuses when I was younger, my own beliefs that I have that have been given to me, my own resentments and so on. I'm projecting them out instead of looking at them within. You, know, you start to see Father as someone worthy of love, which is what he was calling for to begin with. And it's a completely different shift. It isn't something like, okay, now I can tolerate my father's activities, my abusive father's activities. I can tolerate them, I can live with them, I can talk to him now, but it's a, it's, it's a much different thing. I, I, when I dealt with people with um, EFT tapping, I would often, they would often say to me, you know, I feel so much calmer now. That would be a typical word. Using unseen therapists, I'll hear that once in a while, but usually I hear there's such a bigger level, an immense level of peace. Now, peace is a much deeper word than calm. And it's not me that's saying it, it's the client. It's what they're experiencing. They're experiencing this level of peace, which is much bigger than calm. <laughs> 